everyone, how you doing? So uh, I wanted first first thing I wanted to give a little uh, background about myself because this is like one of the first uh, videos that I'll be putting out. Um, my name's Peter and I work in construction and once in a while I do little side jobs here and there. So I wanted to start reviewing some tools. We just picked this up yesterday at uh, Home Depot. It's a Milwaukee Fuel M18 uh, string trimmer kit with the quick lock. Uh, so it's the model number is 282521ST. It's, uh, I guess it's the newer one. I know there's another model that like, uh, starts at 27. I think that's the first one that came out, I believe 2016. But uh, this one has a quick lock uh, for to in the future to upgrade to attachments, like the hedge trimmer, uh, so they have like an edger and a pole saw attachment, which is pretty cool. So this kit, comes with the rapid charger and uh, this 8.0 red lithium high output battery. So first, uh, when I first looked at it, I didn't even know that they had this 8.0. I've been kind of, uh, I haven't been into keeping up with all the new latest and greatest things, but I, the last battery I know that came out that was pretty good was a 9.0. And I saw this one and said 8.0. I was like, oh man, what you know? What there's a, is there a little catch there in this kit? They're downgrading the battery, but because um, I know the the 27 model, the first one that came out, came with a 9.0. I believe it's a high demand 9.0 uh, battery. So I started doing some research on these batteries, and uh, this high output 8.0 is actually a step above the 9.0, the high demand. So there's a difference: high demand on the 9.0, and this is the high output on the 8.0 so they're uh, more advanced battery cells better you know longer lasting cooler so um, this is actually one of their the next step above this I believe would be their high output 12.0 amp battery but um, I tried this out for a bit uh, yesterday and it, it worked it seemed like it gave plenty of power to this string trimmer like I said, it's a step above the 9.0, so you guys don't have to worry about, oh, you know, it's the 8.0 step down from the battery uh, from the first kit, the first model that came out, the 9.0, it's actually better. So that was one thing that I was a little bit confused about, but we cleared that up. Uh, it's got the variable speed bunny rabbit mode. It's got a little safety trigger. Um, it's got a nice, a nice grip this quick quick lock you loosen this and it's got a little button you can take that out put that back in because we don't have any of the other attachments yet uh, pretty light 12 uh, 12.3 pounds I think the 27 model that came out first is a uh, 13 pounds so it's about, uh, 0.7 pounds lighter uh, that that's quite a bit. It's good, you know. If you're using this, you know, for over an hour, it could get pretty heavy. So those uh, 0.7 pounds make a difference. Brushless motor, um, you know, instant torque because of the battery. I used it yesterday when we got it, and man, it's it, it has some power. So I wanted to show you guys. That's just one. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna run this through some tests here in my yard. I got some weeds that are overgrown and stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys real world application. You know, if it has the power to, to actually mow down some good size, size weeds and and uh, how it does with the with the battery, how long it lasts. I've heard it, the claims at uh, an hour runtime with this battery, but I also have 4.0 uh, batteries. These are their standard uh, XC 4.0. We're gonna try this out. I actually did try it yesterday and then, um, you can tell the difference is not as much power but it actually did work well it worked fine on the string trimmer it actually had enough power to actually take down some weeds so we'll show you that i'll probably try to get a runtime on how long it lasts with these 4.0s because i know a lot of people have these old 4.0 batteries uh runtime we're going to try to get runtime with the 8.0 i got quite about a quite a bit of weeds in the back so hopefully we can uh we'll see if it uh lasts 
how long it lasts and if it lasts and then we'll try the 4.0 um yeah and i'll, I'll leave it on on uh on a bunny on high speed we'll, we'll put it through its paces and actually test it out see how it does all right All right, so this is the aftermath. Took down this, this is the biggest weed we took down there. And pretty thick uh, stems there, I went through it no problem.
with this uh, Milwaukee cordless string trimmer with the quick lock and it, uh, it honestly impressed me um, you did have to take off the string cutter because it was I was having in that thick stuff I was having to reload and and bump bump my head it gets more string like way too often and I don't know maybe being short once I took this off it helped a lot and I noticed it wasn't eating up the string as much maybe because it was longer so um, I know you can flip it around I was actually reading the instructions when I came in here you can flip this around and I think it goes from a 14 inch cut to a 16 inch cut but um, I just it works awesome without without any of it I know one time it was a little uh, when I bumped it it was a little long and it hit it hit this guard maybe a couple seconds and then it just wore it down and it was perfect size it made a big difference it says uh, to keep it on there not to overload the, the motor but I mean it, it seems to handle it no problem so that's just up to you guys if you guys want to use that or not alright so we use this uh, string trimmer on the 8.0 for about 30 minutes and drain the battery down halfway or about according to the meter here on the battery and that was just full you know full power full rabbit mode you know not letting off that trigger on that th real thick thick stuff so uh, so yeah that that's pretty awesome I mean I was I would use it I would use it more till it runs out but I literally kind of ran out of like things to uh, to use it on because it just kind of ate through everything that I threw at it like so quick we did use uh, um, 4.0 XC extended capacity uh, old battery I think I got it like 2012 with the kit impact sawzall light <coughs> and uh, all that so I've had this battery for quite a while it's like yeah 2013 probably or 2012 so like at least seven years and uh, as you guys saw it, it did <coughs> it did a good job of handling this string trimmer so I was impressed with that too so if you have I mean if you have like 10 of these batteries or like even five of these batteries and you just you, you could get a good deal on the bare tool of the string trimmer go ahead and just buy the bare tool and you could get a good deal I mean I know with the combos you get a better deal with you get a you know better deal on the battery and stuff but if you already have enough batteries and you can get a good deal on just a bare tool just go for it because it the 4.0 handles it no problem I don't know about the 3.0s or nothing like that but if you have a 4.0 you'll be good um, I used it I used it on some real thick stuff and it and I still have earlier showed three lights not showing full battery so I don't know what's up with that but 
Um, I didn't even waste one of the bars on there and I was hitting it maybe like five, ten minutes on some thick stuff. So that's pretty cool. You can also buy the comb, you know, um, if you have like, most people have those 4.0s. Those are like your standard battery. Now it's like the 5.0, but you can just get a combo with one of these batteries. And if you have a couple of those while this is charging on the rapid uh, charger, use your uh, 4.0 and then uh, by the time your your 8.0 is done I mean you can swap it out and you're good to go so that's pretty cool um, we did put the 8.0 here on my uh, old impact Milwaukee impact and to take out that uh, string trimmer <laughs> pretty pretty heavy with this big 8.0 but you can a little bit you can feel a little bit more power and I wonder how long it will last so maybe I should do a review on this let me know if you guys want me to do any other type of review. Um, I don't know, I can do videos. I got a bunch of things going on around the house, remodels. Uh, I did mention, you know, now I'm a heavy equipment operator. Uh, I used to be a, a plumber and, and a labor. And uh, I don't know if you guys have questions. I can do videos about uh, the construction industry, how to get into it. I'm in the union. I'm in, I live in California. I'm in the union, level 12. Uh, operating engineers. I know I can do some videos about that. I know a lot of people are trying to find information, trying to get in into the union, uh, and a lot of people don't want to give out information. They want to kind of keep it hush hush, like a little, like a group thing, you know, not let other people in. But I mean, because they want, they don't want nobody to take their job. But uh, I can do videos about that. You know, heavy equipment. I run some heavy equipment. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and. Leave a comment, let me guys know if you guys have any suggestions, you know, any modifications or any questions about anything else, let me know. Uh, see you guys in the next one.